Hi, this is Rich Goldson from Productive. So I'm delighted by the level of innovation I'm seeing coming from Smartsheet at the moment in the resource management side. Um, we've had the capacity planning which came in last year, um, workload management's come in, and then more recently it's the advanced reporting which means that we can take items from resource management which could only previously get into Smartsheet via um, an Excel download or via Bridge or an API. Now you can turn this on natively if you've got the resource management uh, plan to, to your smart sheet. So let's have a look. Before we do though, again, just always want to remind people, please do like, share these videos um, if they're of value to you so others will also be recommended content. Our goal here at Productive is to help people unlock uh, potential to transform execution in their organizations. Always delighted to help um, people where we can on that side. So please do get in touch if you want more help on this side, but otherwise, Enjoy um, what I'm going to show with you today because this is a bit of a hack which I'm delighted to find. So if I go into resource management, here's the kind of the main screen and this is all the information you see if you've got the, re the full resource management plan. And again, just as I was saying, capacity planning, brilliant to see how that innovation has come on and how that's continued to evolve. But what I want to show today is if you go to the analytics part of resource management, then you can create and save reports. Now. The new feature here is that you can actually now get these so they refresh and these reports save into your smart sheet. And what it does is when you create these, then it creates the master file of the data which is coming from smart sheet and this creates a folder in your smart sheet. The data comes in and it automatically creates a dashboard relative to the kind of report which you've created. So in this one, I did a utilization. Um, and it can be over the time frame you choose. Um, this one is just an example of last week. Um, another one I did was budget. And again, it automatically creates a dashboard based on budget type of information. Or if I go for time and fees, this is over a 30 day period and it shows you the information, breakdowns, etc., coming in and also missing timesheets, which takes me to the next piece here already because if we look at the time and fees for last week, whilst I could previously see this in Smartsheet, actually what I do is I want to create an advanced report. It creates it. If I click on the button here, once I've got it, I can see the view the advanced report. And what's created in Smartsheet for me is the dashboard and then the data which has come down. So let's just dive into that one. Now in the time and fees, this is just for the previous week that I've got set up and it brings in all the data and I've got conditional formatting set on this already. So what I've said is if the entry type, which is about the timesheet, if it's unconfirmed, then I want it to show that row as orange. This therefore shows me the people who haven't completed their timesheets. So on that one, what you can then do is create an automation and on that automation, send a timesheet reminder. And the way the reminder works is that every week, so assume the prior week, on the Monday, people are completing their timesheets. If you then go, well, you want to send a reminder out on the Tuesday, you send every week on the Tuesday, set the time, 9 a.m. or whatever time you want to, where the entry is unconfirmed, exclude people who want to leave, if they want to leave, etc. because you don't, you don't need them to complete the timesheet. And then you can put a little reminder in here to say, gentle reminder, please complete your timesheet. And what that will look like is they will, like all the automations and notifications, they will get a little reminder via email. And because of the way it works is you can then also get it to say what projects you need them to update this on. So I think this is a fantastic feature. Really delighted because again, lots of people have asked me in the past, how can you set reminders for people who haven't completed the timesheets? Well, here you can on that side. So just going back to how we've done this, if I just go to the reports, the analytics section in Smartsheet, if I go to the reports, and if I wanted to set a new one in terms of the advanced reporting, you can just see this section up here, an advanced report. If I press that button, it then enables me to create an advanced report. So then I can give it the name, decide where I'm gonna save it, and then this will update every 24 hours or you set it to be manual um, on that side. So I think this is a great feature in that now you can get that information from resource management talking directly to Smartsheet. So 
there'll be more features I'm sure coming um, which we'll be delighted to see coming from the resource management team at Smartsheet just making sure this whole solution of Smartsheet with the resource management gives everyone what they need in order to get their work done more efficiently to collaborate and to see where the work is happening so Smartsheet team delighted to see this work and for those who are using it I'm sure you'll be delighted as well so many thanks for watching and bye for now